Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to attempt something a little bit freaky and take this rather popular tabletop Dobsonian. Popular with beginners because it allows you to simply swing it around the sky on its simple base to look at bright objects out there like the moon and star clusters, things like that. It's not really known for imaging but the focus does actually reach focus with some astro cameras so what I'm going to do is combine it with this rather snazzy ZWO AM5 equatorial mount designed for astrophotography for taking long exposures and we'll see whether this little beast can capture any galaxies because it's galaxy season at the moment just to satisfy a bit of curiosity it's kind of like a miniature Skywatcher Quattro, which is Newtonian that's designed for deep space astrophotography. It's got the same fast F4 primary mirror, which will capture a bright image and a wide field of view. The focus is not ideal for imaging. A lot of these smaller 1.25 inch focuses just won't reach focus with a camera and they're not large enough to take a coma corrector to correct the edge of this steeply curved mirror because for imaging you want to flatten out that field so your stars look nice and round in the corners and we can't do that with this but i can combat that by using a small sensor camera that doesn't show up the coma towards the edge of the mirror so there we have it, the Mini Quattro as I call it, the Heritage 100p mounted on the AM5 mount. And we just need to add that small sensor camera I mentioned. And the one I'm going to use tonight is a ZWO SI462MC. You can see the little sensor down there. And I've got a UVI or cut filter on the front and that just because it's a full spectrum sensor that lets in all the light across the, spe the whole of the spectrum. We're just gonna cut off some of that UVIR wavelengths at the top end, which helps sharpen up the images and gets rid of the pink color cast caused by those wavelengths. So hopefully that will help give us some nice sharp images. I'm not gonna use a light pollution filter because I'm gonna be unguided with this. And pretty punched in taking fairly short exposures so I don't think I need a light pollution filter unless I'm taking longer exposures so anyway I can always reassess if, uh, if, that, <laughs> if that plan doesn't work so I'm popping it in there now where I've got it set up is roughly where it reaches focus and that's pretty much all the way in and not all of these ZWO cameras will reach focus. The ones that have a 12.5 millimeter distance from the sensor to the front of the camera will, but some of these ZWO cameras have a 17.5 millimeter distance from the sensor to the front of the camera, and there's not enough inward travel to bring the light to focus on the sensor with those. I'm working on a solution to that because I really want to use the SI585 camera with this but at least this small sensor camera will get around a lot of the coma from this deep mirror. And uh, this will let in about 56% more light than a standard F5 reflector, F4. Basically what you do is you take the square of the F, F ratios. So the square of F5 is five squared is 25. The square of F4 is 16, 25 divided by 16 is 1.56. Therefore, this collects 56% more light. So an exposure of 100 seconds with an F5 telescope would only take around 64 seconds with this F4. So hopefully I can get away with taking short exposures because the mirror's so fast that it's going to collect a lot of light for its given focal length. But it'd be interesting to see how this, what is really a planetary lunar camera, 
how that works with this fast f4 mirror and this tiny 400 millimeter focal length newtonian to capture some galaxies so okay we'll wait until it gets dark